Welcome to CBC News Toronto. I'm Dwight Drummond. I'm Anne-Marie Medawick. They are very rare, very cute, and very expensive. Two giant pandas arrived in Toronto today. Maribel Tarouk shows us the welcome these national treasures received. This is as VIP as it gets. On board, a couple of very important pandas. Hundreds came out to join in the party, and when they finally emerged, there was a sense of awe. You can't forget this. So this is the first glimpse of Canada that the giant pandas have had, the tarmac of Toronto's Pearson International. The big difference? Usually international visitors don't have the Prime Minister waiting for their arrival. Stephen Harper signed a deal with China to bring the pandas here. Over the coming years, these pandas will help us learn more about one another while serving as a reminder of our deepening relationship. The pandas are part of a conservation agreement with the hope that female Er Shun and male Da Mao will reproduce, something that wasn't lost on China's ambassador to Canada. I'm pretty sure that Er Shun and Da Mao will live happily here, and I also hope they will soon produce some junior kung fu pandas. Thank you. But making a baby panda is a challenge. There's just a three-day window once a year that a female panda like Er Shun can get pregnant. We'll be monitoring her right up, so we'll know the minute she's an estrus and good to go. We'll introduce the male uh, to Er Shun. And then, again, as I said, keep our fingers crossed. The Hillcrest High School band traveled here from Ottawa after winning a contest to play for the pandas. It's such a once-in-a-lifetime thing to have such incredible dignitaries here for such a monumental occasion. It was really an incredible experience for all of us, something we won't forget. Even for a seasoned flight crew that's transported all kinds of animals, this was a first. Uh, it was just a tremendous thrill, and um, yeah, it, I'm still pinching myself. It was, it was wonderful. Now, before you all go flock to the Toronto Zoo to see these pandas, you're going to have to wait. They are now under quarantine for 30 days, and if all goes well, the zoo expects to open the panda exhibit to the public in the middle of May. And for anyone who's hoping that a baby panda might take up permanent residency here, that's not going to happen either. If there is a baby panda, all three are expected to go back to China when their run here in Canada is over. Reporting live, I'm Maribel Tarou. Thank you, Maribel.